Hey, it's me, Lee, and I have a review for you today. The wonderful people at My Artscape sent me two sets of awesome brushes for me to try um, back in November, so it hasn't been that long. <laughs> they have been so patient with me in this review, so thank you for being so patient, and here I am making it. Cool. <laughs> I unboxed these brushes back in November in a vlog. So My Artscape is an art supply company that was started by two artists and they still run it now. So their goal is to make premium art supplies at an affordable price, which is pretty awesome. So the two sets that they sent me are synthetic hair brushes. The first set that I have is a 15 piece synthetic short handle brush set. It is a variety of shapes. It comes in a super duper durable travel case that zips shut. It also has Velcro attachments so that the paintbrushes can stand up, which is really cool. I've never seen a case like that before. And then the paintbrushes are held in the case with tight elastic loops. The second set I have is a 12 piece miniature brush set that also comes with a very durable holder that stands. This set includes liners, rounds, and flat small brushes. It stands up with a little drawstring attachment, which is also really cool. I'm really, I'm really dazzled with the standing option. All of these brushes are said to be anti-shedding. They have a great spring to them. They rival natural hair brushes, but are easier to clean, so they are synthetic brushes, and they're supposed to last longer. This is all from the description I read. So to give you a little intro on how I use brushes and what brushes I usually use, I usually will go for really cheap brushes. I'm really hard on my brushes. I don't clean them as well as I should. I mean, I, I wash them up a bit, but I could do a better job, but I don't. I use all media with my paintbrushes. Acrylic, watercolor, gouache are what I use most. I don't really use oil, but I use all those. And then my two shapes of brushes, is that the right term? Shapes? Okay, we're gonna go with shapes. I usually use round and square brushes the most, and then I use detail brushes for line work and whatever the heck else I'm doing. So the negatives about the cheap brushes I usually use are that they lose hair, lose their shape. Sometimes like this, this metal part pops off of the handle. I really don't like that. Or just like the paint chips off of the handle so it gets crackly and chips off. And So those are my least favorite things about cheap paintbrushes. All of those things I have not experienced with my Artscape brushes, and I have been using them for months, as you already know. I leave my paintbrushes sitting in water. I am, I'm not nice to them. I'm not nice to them at all. I haven't experienced any bristle loss on any of my paintings. They do keep their shapes really well. I have two that I use the most, and they're pretty brutally they're, they don't have their shape anymore, but I'll show them to you. These are the two that I use the most. They don't really have their point anymore. As you can see from the handle, they've been through a bit of paint. As a comparison, these are the cheaper brushes that I usually use. And the same thing happens to them. They just lose their shape and this one's newer and still has a little bit of a point. Those are the only ones I've noticed to lose their shape at all, all the other ones are good but I use those the most, all the time, every time I paint. They've lasted how many months? Five? <laughs> Amazingly, none of the paint has chipped off the handles. None of it. None. I really love that the detail brushes are white because I love to take photos with the white brushes in them and I don't really find white brushes a lot and none of them have cracked off. They all look great. It's amazing. Just some other review points. I love these brushes for all media. Since I use all media, these have really melded into my regular brush setup and the detail brushes are probably my favorite that I got. I always destroy detail brushes fast because they're so flimsy. They get bent and they start going sideways, but all my Artscape ones are good. I mean, I'm not super picky on my paintbrushes. I've used a few natural hair brushes that I don't really like. I actually prefer synthetic brushes. They're way easier for me to clean and I just stick to them, they're easy. I would get these if I was looking for brushes. The only thing that I would want is more of my favorite shapes. The variety pack doesn't personally really work for me because I don't use like half of them. And I just looked on their website and there's not really a set of all rounds or all any type of shape. They're all pretty much variety pack. I probably wouldn't get larger brushes from them, but I love their detail brushes. If they came out with just like a set of all different sizes of rounds or square, is that what it's called? Square tip? Uh, I would probably get that. And then the cases are super cool, but I have not used them yet. 
I usually travel with one or two paintbrushes, so I don't really need the actual sturdy case. So they do come without the case if you don't want the case. But I usually just keep my paintbrushes in my room in a jar and they're fine. I would recommend the variety pack to people who want to explore different shapes of brushes. If you're new to art and you don't really know what to get, you don't know anything about brushes. The variety pack is super affordable and you can explore and experiment with a lot of different shapes and sizes. Um, they give you a lot of big brushes, which a lot of beginners kind of shy away from, but I would really recommend trying out bigger brushes. You get more expressive strokes with them. And just for a newbie, when I got into larger brushes, it was great, even though I was really scared of them. I was just using a little brush to fill in stuff and it wasn't really working. And I used a big brush once and I was like, oh, this is great. So I would recommend that for newbies, or if you are the kind of person who uses a lot of different shapes, they're great. I don't personally do that, but maybe you do. And then the miniature brush set, I love. I feel like I never have to buy another miniature brush for a really long time. I feel like they're super long lasting and I haven't even opened like more than half of them. Also, side note, I just read that they offer a 30 day, 100% money back guarantee and a one year, year warranty on all the brushes. So they really believe in their products, which I think is awesome. And I love that it's just owned by a couple people and it's run by them. It's just awesome. I really like these brushes. I use them all the time. You've probably seen them in a lot of my videos. I usually will mention that I'm using my Artscape brushes. So these are them. Thanks again, my Artscape, for sending me these and being so patient with my review. Because, I mean, it hasn't been that long, but... <laughs> I can't even joke about it. It's been so long, but thank you. <laughs> if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up if it's good. Also, give it a thumbs up if it's bad. Thanks. So, I'll see you guys later. Uh, bye.